because it's a very serious bill that's going before Parliament and I think it's in everyone's interest who um, have his, British people have historically had the right to process and the current bill as it is would severely curtail that right. I think if, if you look around you'll see that everyone is wearing masks there, everyone's socially distant so I don't see a problem with that at all and you know you've got to think of the greater uh, good as well. You know I know there are restrictions and everyone's adhering to them but it, in, in addition to that we have to protest against this bill. our human right to protest a lot of people fear that if like this bill goes through then pretty patel and all that will be like wait if we got this down we could probably take more human rights down it is a human right to protest and as said if if this goes down this will be one thing taken away from our human right and who knows what other human rights could be taken away next and you know at the end of the day at the end of the day this whole thing could just go way way to like the complete garbage and everything and as said taking away more human rights and then it turns into a country that was never meant to be i'm more used to the democratic country that this place is i am fine with the democracy it is in at the moment i don't want to see it go any other way like downhill or anything like that i reckon that we i re I just want to keep our rights in place. I reckon if we protest, the government will be like, wait a minute, let's not pass this through the ping pong method. Let's just send it all out because obviously the people are not happy. It, and the fact that the plans are 10, more, 10 years for a protest kind of disturbs me because a normal sex offender would get at least five years, which is once again quite disturbing. So yeah, as said, I just want to make sure our rights are in place and get our voices heard.